Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So we are going to start a new series on .NET, uh, SP.NET Core. So for this application, we are going to create an employees management or e-recruitment uh, system. So this system will uh, actually be used for uh, employers to onboard uh, candidates and even uh, post uh, job uh, applications. So uh, we are just uh, started with these uh, applications. As, as you can see, we are using uh, a template and we have already uh, defined some of our uh, columns. Uh, that is the d uh, database and tables. So you can see I've already defined some of the tables and the uh, and the and the columns within the application. So, to just give you an overview of our our, did, our structure of the application, so we have uh, this is our application. So we have the some of the modules that we have just broken down. We have the admin. So you can see this is our admin. We have the skills, positions, job types, skills types, jobs, employees employers the currencies the countries the counties companies and the cities so uh, to just show you an overview so this is our our how our application looks like so we just uh, we have just uh, started uh, the, the development of this app and i've uh, seen it a uh, base for, for for me to share with you guys so to begin with so our database is currently empty so we are going to uh, proceed with creating some of the records so you can see this is uh, the geolocations so i'm going to create a country so i'll just add a uh, ug and i say this is uganda so if i save this we'll be able to see that this is already uh, saved so i can add another one uh, sa say this is south africa so i'm going to add some some of the data so that we uh, proceed fast so this is uh, where we add the countries then you're able to tie the counties to our countries so if i say add new county so i'm able to select the the country so I'll say uh, Kenya, then I'll say this is uh, Wasin, so I, I'll say UG, so these are some of the counties in Kenya, Wasin Gishu, Wasin Gishu, so if I save that, we have a, a county there, I'll also select the country, then I'll say this is NA, so this is Nairobi. So if I save that, we have our Nairobi there, we'll add another county, KJ, then if I say this is Kajiado, Kajiado, so I'll save that, so this is one of our, these are some of the country, counties, you have the country code, the name, and you can actually edit it. So we also have the city, so if I just select, so you are able to select the country, so I'll say NA, so this is uh, Nairobi. So this is one of our cities. I'll also add another one, KS. I say this is uh, Kisumu. So for those who are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to MacroCode, please do so. Then I will follow up this application up to the end. So we'll be sharing the source code only after we have done with the, the application. So, but if you want to get the source code, then uh, join in as a member, then we'll share source code with only our members. But if you want the source code, then you'll have to follow up then until we uh, complete this app. So that is it. So we have added our cities. So the next thing that we are going to do is now add our, our we're going to add currencies. So these are some of our currencies. So if we say add new currency, I'll say KE, say this is a Kenya shillings. Then I say symbol, I say KS, KES, then country, then I'll say, I'll put in maybe a description, then I can set these as a default currency that the system will be using. So if I save that, you can be able to see that the, our currency is being saved. So you can also do K, so I'll say UG, say Uganda shillings shillings then i say this is ug so this is for uganda and i say this is uganda shillings so if we save so you can be able to save currencies 
so that is it then we can now go to company info so you can see here we can actually create a company i think i haven't mapped that so we'll be able to come that later so we also have email settings so this is this uh, email that our system will be using so if we just say add email so i'll say uh, email address um uh, say backend coders so you can actually email us at backend coders at gmail.com then you can say this is a uh, gmail then password you just put in a random password that is not our password guys and i also put in the port then sender you can say this is a uh, sender email sender name so you'll say this is macro code then i'll say this to default then you can enable ssl so if we save then you're able to save that so you can have as many email addresses as you can so i'll do that say this is the sender that's the password is the port Marco code test then you enable that then you save so you can see we now have our email settings then we have the job categories so we can be able to define the categories of the job so i say maybe so this this will be the application will be majorly ta uh, focusing on medical field so we are going to majorly uh, focus on medical field so i'll say our so i'll say our job code so let's just come to our job categories uh job categories i'll say this is uh i'll say nursing so i'll say this is nursing then i can i can save that i can also define i'll say this is uh uh, uh job field you can say this is uh doctors you can say doctor you can also define it as doctor then i can save that so you can see so i can also define our job tags so our job job tags you can say this is a uh, public health public health can also say public health sorry public health so this is a code so you can say ph so if we save that so you are able to have that so th so that is a uh, so you are still mapping some of this information so if we come to system security we don't have anything we have not defined system profiles we, we haven't uh, defined uh, system settings we haven't defined anything then uh, system codes so as you can see we have some codes here but now we can define the codes that our system will be using like now for example male we say gender so this will be gender so if we save that then we are able to get the gender then if we say we say marital status status so this will be the code then we say yeah marital status then i save so we'll be able to define all the system codes here so the system code details we are going now to assign the our code that we have defined like the gender for example we have m then our value will be ml then we can say this is number one so the gender consists of the male and female so we can add another one so we'll select the gender we say this will be f we say female then this is the second uh, item so you can see that is how it, it is you can also define the marital status we say this is uh, uh, married so this is also married so this is the first one if we save that you can see we under the system code we are assigning marital status to this so you can also define some of the marital status we say single we also define here as single then this is the second we save it so we can add as many codes as we can so this kind of system administration so system tasks so we are, will be able to see that then the departments this is the departments that uh, our application will recognize so we'll have the finance yeah we have finance finance 
finance then i will save that i will be able to save also another department ict we save the department we are able to add uh, hr what word hr save that we are able to add uh, procurement procurement so we can do that that the code then we save it so you can see we have the names and the codes then the positions so this is we are going to define the positions in our system so for example we say nursing or we say assistant nurse a s nurse so that will be our code a s so we say a s nurse then we say this is a assistant nurse so this could be our position so if we save that you're able to see that then you can say a uh, doctor i'm able to save that is a doctor then we save it then we add we say also this is a uh, we say oncology we say uh what's another medical uh, position that you can have we say uh dent dentist so you can have these as a dentist dentist so if we save that then we'll be able to define the positions so on the skills uh we should actually define the skills that we need for our application to look like when we are actually posting the position so you can say communication communication so this could be communication skills then you say this is communication skills so if we say that we are able to see our communication skills here we can also say uh, interpersonal interpersonal skills so we can do interpersonal interpersonal skills so then we save that so we can also say uh, reading we can we can say soft skills so you can define as many skills as you can so soft skills so these are some of our dummy data that we are actually providing for our app so the payment types so we can have the payment types you can say mpesa mpesa so these payment types will be used by the employers to pay us for the positions that they are posting on our app so we can also say uh, bank you can say here bank so those are the, some of the payment modes that we accept so these are some of the general details and as you can see on our audit logs the system is actually logging every detail so we haven't configured the user id that is we haven't configured the logging in to our app so currently the user id is null but everything that you have been doing as you can see we have been creating some records then our table the tables that you have been affecting you see ct the time and the values you can see the values that you have been adding uh, these are the details that you have been adding and the primary keys for those specific tables that we have affected so that is it so uh, uh, so we have our job our administration so this is how our administration looks like so the next thing that you need to do is uh, we have our employers so on our employers we should be able to onboard a new employer so if you just create new we should be able to add an employer you see the data that we have been defining about the city so the cities are populated here you also have the year of establishment the links uh, the, the the interest the some of the details about an employer then you are able to see the employers the active users are within our system for the specific employers the jobs for each, for each of the employer the contacts the employer registration the active and the inactive employers then you're able to see all the candidates i think that is not yet done 
So the candidates, the job application, the active candidates, the inactive candidates, and the candidates registrations, then the job postings that uh, they have uh, been done by these uh, employers. So you have the active jobs, the closed jobs, suspended jobs, and the scheduled jobs. Then the application that has been done by the candidates. So we'll be able to see that. So this is our main dashboards. So as you can see on our home, we have some analysis of the uh, total employers, the candidates. So this data is uh, still dummy. So for, for those who are interested in this project, uh, stay in touch as we start and uh, begin the process of development and actually uh, at the end of it all we'll have a very good um, uh, application and we, for those who want to learn we'll also learn through the process so that is it for today's video it was just an intro of what is uh, happening and uh, i've uh, been a while so i'm back now guys for those who have missed me uh, subscribe and for those who are new to this channel and for those who are, are, are coming back I watch the video and uh, comment down below to see if uh, we can interact and get to know each other better. See you in our next uh, video and keep safe.